the first Formula One World Championship Grand Prix took place at Silverstone in May 1950. Now, 20 years later, the championship still stands strong with the Mercedes looking likely to go flawless this season. We have Solio Adeyemo, a Formula One expert, joining us to talk about this. Good to have you with us, Solio. Good afternoon, Doc. How are you doing? I'm very well. Hope you're keeping safe. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so the Formula One season has entered the 70th anniversary and uh, we're looking forward to the race tomorrow, Saturday, to, be, to I mean on Sunday. What are your expectations as we look forward to that one? I mean, quite a lot of Udoka. Uh, as you rightly said, the 78th anniversary of the uh, Formula One Grand Prix. Uh, that means that when you look at in terms of number, uh, May 1950, we are the first official uh, Formula One uh, Grand Prix that was held at uh, this particular uh, grant, talk about Silverstone, where it all started. And we are back there now for the 70th anniversary. You know, um, the pandemic, talk about the coronavirus uh, pandemic, has presented up with a, uh, with a wonderful opportunity of, um, of just trying to um, remember uh, this particular one. You know, this the second Grand Prix, that will be held back to back uh, uh, at Silverstone. So it, it, it is quite a memorable one. So in terms of the weekend, it's, it's difficult now to, not, to, to, not to talk about uh, tires, especially with the experience that we had at uh, the, uh, uh, the last company, that's talking about the British company, where Hamilton uh, had to labor. Uh, so that victory, you remember on the last lap, he had a puncture on his tire, he had to finish on three wheels. Just as um, his teammate talking about uh, battery boater, yeah. who had similar puncture, uh, like two laps to go to the end of the race. So the question on the mind of everyone this week at Udoka is, will the tires run into trouble again? So many people uh, will be looking to see how Peretti respond. Yes, they're talking about their technical uh, director, talking about uh, Mario Isola, has come out to say that why they are just blowouts as we had at the last Grand Prix was because uh, the team did a lot, a long stint on the tires, which put a lot of pressure on the tires. And that was why we had those uh, blowers. Remember, it was not just Hamilton and Porter. Remember the story of uh, Alexander Albon also, who had similar uh, blowers that even cost him uh, the race altogether. And also one of the expectations this, uh, this weekend is also the issue of voluntary protests. A lot of people are asking the question like, it should be providing the kind of um, competition that Hamilton need. Will he be able to do that? I mean, 25 points, um, like 30, 30 points between him and Hamilton is unacceptable. So a lot of people are focusing mm -hmm. on him right now. And also, vital issues also there. So a lot of issues to look forward to, but one that interests me most is the issue of fire. I want to see how things react uh, this weekend. All right, uh, thank you very much for that quick wrap on Formula One for the weekend, Solio. You're welcome. All right, talking about the Formula One, uh, Mercedes had a punctured tire last week and uh, they finished the race with three tires. Let's see if Lewis Hamilton and his team will get to finish strong again tomorrow, talking about the 70th anniversary. <laughs>